In this video, I, ha I show you how <laughs> What's going on, Slay Bays? It's Ashley, and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to kind of be putting a spin on things. We're really just gonna focus on the eyes. I'm going to be filming two looks, one palette, using the brand new ABH Norvina Volume 3 palette. Now, this is a palette that really stood out to me amongst the other two. While I did film a video using Volume 1, which I will have it listed right here, I really wanted to just dabble into three, skipped over two, but if you guys want me to use two in an upcoming video, let me know and I'll be happy to film that for you. So first and foremost, I'm gonna show you guys how to get this look. I'm gonna show you how to go from this to this. I know, full on outfit change. Honestly, when I sat down to film this look, it was such a vibe that I had to give it a moment all on its own, you know what I mean? Anyways, I know you guys aren't here to hear me talk or do a lot of this. You guys wanna see how I got these two looks, so if you guys aren't subscribed to my channel already, make sure you guys subscribe and click that little bell, so that way YouTube will notify you any time I upload, which is every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. With that, let's go ahead and hop right into the video. I'm gonna first start off with a little bit of the ABH eye primer. Now, I don't wanna talk too much in today's video because we do have to get through two complete eye looks, which is why I'm primarily just gonna focus on the eyes today. I'm not really gonna focus on face or anything like that, but I will have all face products that I use in both looks down below in the description in case you guys are interested. Ooh, that's a lot of eye primer. A lot of eye primer. <laughs> Honey. Now that my eyes are nice and primed, I'm just gonna jump straight in to the eyeshadow palette. I'm gonna take this shade right here called B5. It is more of a warm tone brown. I'm gonna take it on an M441 and I'm just gonna take this in my crease. This is gonna be my transitional shade and I'm just going in big circular motions. A lot of you guys said, hey, don't set down your crease. You're doing it wrong. So I'm doing it right today. I'm doing it right. I mean, you guys are the pros. What do I know? All right, you guys, so this is blending really, really nice in my crease. It's like a nice wash of brown. I definitely want to build it up a little bit. So I am going to go in with this shade right down here. It's called D1. Ooh, that's definitely like a really pretty like pumpkin shade. Like not quite sienna, but just like pumpkin. Pumpkin spice. Can you guys believe I haven't had a pumpkin spice latte yet? What? So yeah, I'm just taking this color and I'm really just packing it right here in the crease just to kind of deepen it up. By the way, I am using an M514 to do this step. Norvina really hit it out of the park with these eyeshadow palettes. I feel like these are the most creative palettes of 2019 hands down. Now I'm gonna go in with the shade right here called E2 and I'm gonna use that same brush, that M514, and I'm just gonna start packing it on the outer V to kind of create some dimension in this area i'm not gonna take it above the crease though i'm really just gonna focus it like on the lid and slightly in the crease i'm using this color just to create a little bit of definition not gonna lie this palette is blending out incredible i don't know if it's just because i'm working with the warm tone shades right now and the moment i start working with color i'm like <laughs> I'm also just gonna take a smaller brush and pick up E2, which is that kind of burgundy shade, and I'm gonna press it right here in like the very inner corner just to create some dimension. I'm gonna take an M507 and I'm just lightly going to blend out that burgundy because I don't want it to be as stark and harsh. We want a nice blend. Let's actually do a little bit of cut crease action. I'm going to take a little bit more of the eye primer and I'm going to take my Morphe brush. This is an M124 and I'm just going to carve out a little bit of lid space because why not? I want these shadows to stand out and pop. So I have a little bit of lid space carved out. It's not perfect, but it's not meant to be perfect. The colors I'm gonna put over top are meant to be perfect. So I'm gonna take this shade right here. It's called C1. It's so pretty and just so blinding. Honestly, the shimmers in these palettes are unreal. So I'm gonna use that same M124, and this is gonna be my first shade. So I'm just gonna place it right here closest to that burgundy. And I know it looks strange, but I'm actually gonna blend that shade into the shimmer 
in a second so everything just kind of melts into each other so don't even worry the next shade i'm going to use is this one right here it's called d2 it is a really pretty orange shade i will also say that d5 looks very very similar to d2 if I'm being completely honest, I definitely feel like they could have did like a slightly darker shade than that of D2 because those look very, very similar, if not identical. <sighs> this is actually coffee, not tea. I'm gonna use a little bit of D5 to see if it looks a little bit more orange in that yellow. Okay, just a little, just a tad. Nothing too crazy. At this point, we have a little situation. We're very, very unblended. So we definitely need to make something happen. I'm gonna go in with an M507. If you guys don't own this brush, go out, get this brush, spend like three, four dollars that it costs because it literally is so amazing. I just can't get enough of it. I am gonna take this brush, dip it into the E2 shade, and I'm just gonna lightly start feathering it over top of the shimmer just to create more of a seamless blend. I'm gonna go in with the shade called E2, and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna start taking a little bit of this, and I'm just gonna kind of blend it inwards onto that shimmer and kind of just melt the two finishes together. It's actually really, really hard to do because you have to melt a matte and a shimmer together and sometimes that's not the easiest thing to do, so just be patient. I'm gonna go in with the M507, pick up some of E2, and I'm just gonna lightly blend a little bit above the crease. Not above the crease, in the crease like that and you know what just to create more of a fiery look i'm gonna take a2 on an m433 and i'm just gonna lightly blend it right up here just because i do want this to be a little bit more vibrant and just like out there in your face wham bam so i definitely feel like we're in a good place what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna clean up all of the fallout because i got a little bit of glitter fallout under here with just some makeup wipes i'm gonna do my base off camera then we'll come back and we'll finish off the lower lash line pop on lashes and all that fun stuff all right so i have my face on for the most part i'm now going to go ahead and finish off my lower lash line the next step i'm going to take is to take just like a flat definer brush like this and i'm really going to bring that shadow that's on my lid down on my lower lash line so i'm going to pick up the shade d1 which is this shade right here and i'm just going to push this closest to the lash line just to kind of connect. Now, in my last like really, really warm ball makeup tutorial, I didn't bring the shadow on my lower lash line and I honestly really liked it, but I don't think today I'm gonna do a wing eyeliner at all. So that's why I'm really bringing it down to kind of just connect everything together. And then with an M507, I'm just gonna smoke it out. And then with that same flat definer brush, I'm gonna pick up E2, which is that burgundy. And I'm going to really just pinch this outer V and really focus the shadow closest to the lash line. Of course, since I'm hella extra and I love to use these in my videos, I am gonna use a ColourPop Gel Eyeliner. This one is in the shade Unts. I have used this quite a bit on my channel so far. Honestly, if you guys haven't tried these, I just recommend like 110% because they're so, so pretty. I literally have them in every single shade, no shame. And you know what, since this is a super colorful palette, I definitely wanna add like a different pop in the very inner corner. So I'm gonna pick up this shade right here called A1 on a pointed crease brush. This is by Collab. These are launching soon, if not already in Sally Beauty stores, because why not? Why not add something a little bold, a little extra? I also want to pop on like a shimmer over top because it's just looking flat and matte. So I'm gonna take C1, which is that lighter yellow, and I'm just gonna lightly pop it over that green just to give it a little bit of shimmer. I'm gonna use the MAC Extended Play Giving Black Lash Mascara, y'all favorite mascara for like my lower lashes, but since I'm applying falsies, I really don't need to go in with anything special for my top lashes, let's be honest. So I'm just gonna use this. Look how small the wand is. Like not small, like it's long, but it's like small, you get me? So I'm going to just coat my lashes and for false lashes today, I will be applying the Britney Bare Lashes in the style Verified. Unfortunately, these are limited edition, but Salon Perfect was nice enough to send over some backups because I freaking love this style. I'm gonna be really sad when they're all gone, but you know what? I'm just going to enjoy them while I can. <gasps> Always. Always, it would happen to me. It would. But a little trick 
to getting mascara off of your face when you mess up like that is wait for it to completely dry. Take a clean spoolie and just kind of scrape it off. So we're gonna leave it there while I put on my falsies. So while I wait for my lash glue to completely dry, I'm actually just gonna move on to my lips. I'm gonna use this lip liner right here by Ella Girl Cosmetics. It's in the shade Cafe. It's one of my favorite affordable nude lip liners, which reminds me, if you guys want me to do like my favorite affordable lip products, let me know, like my lip combos, because I do have a ton of favorites in the drugstore. I'm gonna line my lips with this and fill them in completely. And then I'm gonna go in with a little bit of Yash lipstick by MAC directly over top. So this right here is a final and completed look. Again, if you guys are interested in any of the face products I have on my face right now, check out the description box down below. What I'm gonna do now is I'm actually gonna wipe all of this off, start again. So let's actually move on to look number two. So sad. I did all of this. You know what? I do it for you. Love you. So let's be honest, I didn't have it in me to take off all my face makeup and do the second look all in the same day. So it's the next day, but we're here. We're gonna work on look number two. I already have my eyelids primed with the eye primer by ABH in case you guys were wondering. I'm now just gonna jump into the first shade, which is a shade right here. It's called A1. It's a really pretty like neon lime color. And I'm gonna take that in my crease to act as my transitional shade. I'm gonna use an ABH, an ABH. I'm gonna use an M441 by Morphe and I'm just gonna rock this in the socket. Can I just say today has been an adventure. It really has. I've been running errands like pretty much for the whole day, um, just getting products and stuff like that and planning out content for you guys. So you should be really, really excited for the videos to come. So now that I have that lime color washed all in my crease as my transitional shade, I'm gonna amp it up just a little bit and make it a little bit more green. So I'm gonna take A4, which isn't that much deeper than A1, but I feel like it's gonna add a really, really nice contrast. I'm switching over to an M514. And again, I'm just gonna kind of pop it right over here. And I'm also gonna work this in the crease as well. This is just gonna give me a gradual transition. You guys, I never play around with colors. So when I do, I'm not gonna lie, I get a little intimidated. I'm just like, what the fuck do I do? You know, it's like, I almost forget how to blend. Pretty bad, but. Keep it together. Keep it together, keep it together, keep it together, keep it together, keep it together. So the next shade I'm gonna go in with is called B2. So it's kind of like this blue. I'm thinking I wanna create more of like a green blue makeup look. I rarely ever play around with like blues and greens. I feel like this palette is a really, really awesome palette to kind of experiment with these shades. I'm taking an M507 and I'm just lightly packing it right here on the outer V and I'm kind of flicking it inwards just to give it a better blend. So I'm actually gonna switch over to a flat shader brush. This one is by Collab. And I'm really just gonna focus on packing this color on the outer V. And the reason I'm using this brush is because it's really gonna pack a punch and it's really just going to deposit more pigment in a precise way. So that's why I'm just using this as opposed to like a little blending brush because I do want this area to be super opaque. Then I can go in with a brush like this and kind of just diffuse out the edge. I'm gonna go in with a little bit more of the eye primer to cut out a little bit of lid space. And the brush I'm using is just an M124 by Morphe. So next up, I'm gonna take C5, which is a shade right here. It is so freaking beautiful. And I am gonna spray my brush with a little bit of Fix Plus just because I want it to have a really nice lip. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tap it right here in the very inner corner of my eye, right onto the lid. 
You know what I find to be so crazy is that in the pan, the shade called C5 really looks like a green, but on the lid, it kind of looks like, I don't know, it looks like a teal blue, if you get me. Now, speaking of blue, I am gonna go in with this shade right here. It's called B1. It's a nice, frosty, light blue. And I'm really gonna focus the shade on the center of the lid. I'm gonna take an ABH A2 to really just pack it on and blend it into kind of like that teal blue we have going on here. Okay, so once I have that light blue all over the lid, I'm gonna go right back into C5, which was kind of like that green in the pan, but went on like tealish blue, the same shade I put right in here, and I'm just gonna put it on the other side just so that way it blends better into this matte shade right here. I'm just gonna take a really fluffy flat shader brush and just tap on some blue here. And then I'm gonna go in with an M507 and I'm gonna pick up some of the shade right here called E1. It's kind of like the darkest green in the palette. Well, not kind of, it's the darkest green in the palette. And I'm just gonna lightly tap a little bit of this in the outer V area. All right, so I know things look really, really messy at this point, but I am gonna do a little bit of cleanup underneath my eyes, also finish the rest of my face off camera. Then we'll come back, finish off the lower lash line, and then figure out where else we're gonna take this look because, girl. We have a problem. So I did the rest of my face off camera. I'm now just gonna finish off my lower lash line. I have this little smudger brush right here from Smashbox, and I'm gonna pick the shade B2, which is more of this matte teal, and I'm going to press this closest to my lower lash line just to kind of connect all the shadows together i'm also going to take an m507 and just kind of like smoke this lash line all the way out next i'm going to take the shade e1 on a flat definer brush and i'm just going to push this closest to my lash line just to deepen it up and i don't know if it's just me but i'm looking at the look and i feel like it needs like a little bit more definition like in the outer v so i think i'm going to pick up the shade e2 right here which is just a burgundy shade do you guys see the pigment on that that's so crazy so crazy i'm going to pick up a little bit of e2 and i'm actually just going to blend a little bit right here gonna take a fluffy brush to kind of just you know lightly buff it i really don't want to get too crazy with this but i always say that with every look so i'm gonna try my best i'm gonna take an m507 with a little bit of that product there and just lightly buff it in the outer corner then with a big fluffy brush i'm just gonna go in big circular motions Then with that flat definer brush, I'm gonna pick up some more of E2 and I'm only gonna press it right here on the outer V of my lower lash line just to kind of like pinch the eye a little bit. Now usually I would go in with like a super colorful liner in my waterline, but today I'm just gonna use this shade right here by ColourPop, it's called Call Me. And I'm only gonna put this right here in like the outer V area. Then for my inner corner, I'm gonna pick up the shade called C1, which is such a beautiful yellow shade. And I'm gonna pop that in my inner corner for an added pop. So that's all I'm gonna do for eyeshadow. I definitely feel like that really dark kind of mulberry shade in the very outer corner really just changed this look up completely. It went from very bright, fun, poppy to grungy, dark smoky if you get me i'm now gonna pop on falsies i'm gonna use these right here i got these from tj maxx for 4.99 these are by the creme shop these are the 3d lashes in the style cali i think they're gonna complement this look very very nice and the lash glue i'm gonna use is this one right here this is by kiss this is called eye glue it's their premium strip lash adhesive so i'm gonna do that and then i'll be right back and we'll work on the lips boom boom y'all lashes are on and honestly these are so pretty i'm probably gonna go to tj maxx to see if they have any more styles because i do really love the lash it feels very very comfortable on the eyes and i am all about that i'm just taking my mascara wand to blend my lashes in with the falsies and you know what after looking at the look i definitely want to add a color in my waterline because i feel like it's missing something so i'm gonna go in with the shade zulu by ColourPop, and i'm just gonna run this in my waterline So I definitely feel like that added something a little extra to the look. If you guys don't own these ColourPop liners, I don't know how many times I have to tell you, go out and pick some up because they are definitely worth the hype. I feel like these are a staple in my collection. I feel like they really transform a look. 
but that's just me i am gonna go in with a little bit more lower lash mascara and i'm just gonna kind of pop it on You know what, for my lip color, I'm just gonna do the same exact combo I did in my last look. I'm gonna use the Ellie Girl Cosmetics Lip Liner in the shade Cafe, paired with my MAC Cosmetics Lipstick in Yash. So I went ahead and zoomed you out just so that way you can kind of get a feel for the look as a whole. Honestly, I do like this one. I had my doubts. I really did. I really feel like the darker color in the outer V took it from like bright, fun, and poppy to very dark edgy and dramatic if you get me i also really love that i did more of a warm tone look and also a cool tone look because i know a lot of you guys either like warm or cool so you guys got the best of both worlds in today's video if you guys want to see any more videos of me doing two looks one palette let me know by giving this video a big old like also subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already it would mean a lot to me and with that I'm gonna go, I love you. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, I'll be sure to catch you guys all in the next one. Deuces.